Hey, what a great thing to see all these people out here standing up on a day like this. I don't know, I'm gonna say there's probably uh, probably three or four hundred here. I'm sure the news media will say there were at least dozens. <laughs> so we ask for your intervention. We ask for your intervention with our patriots. We ask that you'll break these shackles and chains and tear down these walls of tyranny and injustice all across this land and across this world and let us stand up for what is right. Amen. Amen. Due process does not exist in these courts and for years we've looked at other factions and we've said well they're too radical or, or they did something we didn't like so lock them away. We cannot commit anyone to the hands of injustice and call ourselves righteous friends. We have to defend everyone and we need to unite everyone is divided against everyone and I was thinking about this when I watched Ammon's video the other day and he was talking about Martin Luther King and and we look at these different people and sometimes we don't agree with everything they did but we look at different movements and different people and the message is the same I was standing there in Portland earlier and we had the counter protesters across the street and they had these signs with hearts that said we love our public lands and I said well I do too we're on the same side we need to stop letting a coercive and extortive government divide us one against another father against son and black against white and race against race. As beautiful as it is, this document right here grants me and you nothing. I do not have my rights from government. I have my rights from the God of heaven and government cannot take them away. And I'm constantly seeing us make excuses. We say, well, well, you're a felon. And I say, well, what's a felon? Well, a felon might be standing on this step in the rain, standing in the wrong position next to the eagle, because that's a felony now. Everything is a felony to a treasonous and tyrant government. They use words against us. They call us terrorists when they are the terrorists. I <coughs> dare anyone who does not believe this to go into a courtroom, feel the terror that happens in every single courtroom in every county of this nation. And do not tell me if you're a police officer or if you're a politician, do not tell me that your courts are mostly good. <laughs> I love my neighbor. I don't care who they are. I don't hate anybody. People say, well, Gavin, you hate government or you hate police. And I will say, no, my government hates law. And I love law and I love justice and I love liberty. And so you show me a good police officer and I will show you a police officer who is standing with us. And some of them do. Unfortunately, those seem to be the ones that get fired. Show me police officers, show me sheriffs who are walking into these courtrooms of terror and arresting the terrorists in black robes. Let's not mince words anymore. Our words have power. We have compromised our words, friends, for too long. We have said, well, I'll work within the system and I'm going to shake hands with them over here, but I'm going to say they're corrupt over here. They cannot be both. You do not mix righteousness with evil. You do not mix liberty with tyranny. When you love your neighbor as yourself, you fulfill law because you cannot abuse your neighbor and love them as yourself. It's as simple as that. And from that came the principles of law that go back to before the Constitution, which are these like liberty and property equally for all. We hold these truths to be self-evident. Yeah. And from that, our Constitution was written not perfect in every way, not to give us rights, not to grant us anything at all, but to affirm wholeheartedly that these rights are ours. And I'm sick and tired of politicians and bureaucrats and slaves to tyranny saying, well, what about this or what about that? I do not negotiate my rights and shall not means exactly what it says. When we tell government shall not, it means one thing. You shall not touch this liberty. Yeah. I see us always worrying about ISIS or the Muslims. And don't get me wrong, I'm not going to tolerate Sharia law on my street for a moment. But the difference is, if that comes to my street, no one will fault me for defending myself. When the arm of these tyrants comes to my street, I become the terrorist if I defend my family and my neighbor. These and our judges sitting in their black robes and in their marble halls are the greatest terrorists in this world because they defy the rule of law. In the boy, we saw a man who laid down his life for his friends. We saw a man who loved his neighbor. And we saw a man who increasingly 
was saying we need to work together across factions and across race and across lines but we must stand for liberty. We need to unite with those not who abuse their neighbor, but who love their neighbor. On rights, on justice, and on liberty, we must compromise, not at all. But on pettiness, on pettiness and on division, we must throw it away. We wear the shackles of a slave. And I am tired of wearing the shackle of a slave. Everything in this nation, down to the humble traffic ticket, is a crime punishable by death and that is not law and if you think i am wrong you try it try not paying your traffic ticket and watch them remove your license and then try exercising your right to travel and then when they try and lock you in a cage try to defend yourself and your family and they will put a bullet in your head and put you in a box that is not justice that is a death penalty <laughs> and so in closing i just encourage everybody we need to unite in principle, and the principle is this, love your neighbor and life, liberty and property, because if it is not within those boundaries, it is not principle, it is not justice, and it is certainly not law. What these men in these buildings are making, what these terrorists are creating and writing with their pens, it is not law, it has no part in law, it is void the moment it is written, it is lawless, and it must be disobeyed by the principle self-governing people. We must stand together or we will hang individually. Thank you.